Out of a clear blue sky on the morning commute, what we now know to be a meteor crashing to Earth. This is what it feels like when a double-decker-sized chunk of rock hits the ground. At first, incomprehension, and then the rush to document what was happening around them. It happened just after nine in the morning. This footage recorded on a dashboard camera to the surreal backtrack of the car stereo. The light from the meteor lit up the sky as it passed overhead. Scientists say it entered the Earth's atmosphere at 33,000 miles per hour. The force of the pressure wave shattered glass and damaged buildings along its path. Most of the injured were treated for cuts and bruises caused by shards of glass and rubble. But the emergency ministry said more than 80 children have been injured. Two adults are in intensive care. A state of emergency has been declared across the three affected districts. In this classroom, the morning lesson had just started when the meteor hit. <laughs> Teachers led their children out into the snow away from the broken glass. In this office, the sheer force of the explosion knocks this man clean across the room. A Russian rock band witnessed the meteor from their tour bus. For about five seconds we were completely disorientated, which was really scary, I have to say. Our driver also couldn't see anything. We couldn't understand what was the source of the flash. It was incredible. It was very much like a nuclear explosion, minus the radiation. The Russian Academy of Sciences puts the size of the meteor at around 10 tonnes. They say it shattered up to 32 miles above the ground. This is a pretty rare occurrence. Most meteors that we talk about actually completely burn up in the sky as shooting stars, as they're, as they're known. Um, the only one on hand that I can uh, point to that had similar sort of impact was in 1908 in Tunguska. So that gives you a sort of idea of, of how often these things actually happen. Um, so normally when we expect meteors, we, we ex just expect pretty things in the sky and not to actually have an impact and, and certainly not to cause injuries. These are the first pictures of what's believed to be the main crash site, an eight-metre crater in the ice in a lake about 80 kilometres from the city centre. Local fishermen called police who have sealed the area off. The Ministry of Defence here has dispatched a task force to help identify any further crater sites. They say they had no operations in the region at the time and that there was no warning before the strike. Katie Stallard, Sky News, Moscow.